NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. Okay, hey, I feel like... God, it's Friday. Oh, thank God it's Friday. Come on. Everybody the J and J morning show rolls on as we I have a fantastic week. This is just it was this great is awesome. You. I don't have to wear a jacket. I can just relax. You know what? I look really good. You do look good. You, you, know. Do, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I like dressing like this, because if I came over to your home, obviously I'd bring something to eat, like we talked about yesterday. I'd probably bring you some sauce. Better than anyway. I bring you some sauce, a little bit of vino. So you would homemade vino, by the way, not the, from the you know liquor store, three dollars, and you get the whatever Joey pots and pans wine. No, we don't do that. I'd come over just like this so we can relax. So that's why we present ourselves this way. We're either in your living room, dining room, outside on the deck, enjoying ourselves. Fantastic. So, but I would bring the best gravy on the face of the earth. I said it's in the top three. I take that back. But I'm not trying to one-up you because you have the show. You're a heck of a lot more knowledgeable than I am. It, it just, you know, how whatever your taste is. But you but, make some great things. You know, I, well, you know. You do. Well, we, are those family recipes? Actually, they're everything that I've, like, thrown together. Sometimes I surprise myself. Like, did you ever, did you ever get and you were invited to picnic at the last minute? No. I'm sorry. I, I was, I was, I was. No, like, you know, like, they forgot to call you, they forgot to call you, and then all of a sudden it it's like... A lot. And then they don't call Hey, you. James, <laughs> we're having a picnic. You want to come? And you go, shit, I mean, Yeah. What, what the hell am I going to bring? Right. Here, you can't miss. If you're like me, there's a lot of nuts around. <laughs> yes. So get some nuts, chop it up, chop up some green onions. Get like one of those flat pans that you can get at one of the grocery stores that's only about, you know, okay. that yeah. big. Open a jar of mayonnaise, Hellman's, Miracle Whip, whatever okay. you like. Smear it all over the pan. Now, what do you like, raspberry, or what's your favorite flavor, fruit flavor? Uh, I, I like raspberry, uh, strawberry, uh, blueberry. Yeah, I, I You can like use that. any one of those. Okay. Now, with that, with that mayonnaise, you're going to mix a cup of cheddar cheese, a cup of nuts, and a cup of those chopped onions. Mm -hmm. Mix it all up, spread it in the pan. Top it with, like, raspberry or strawberry, whatever you like, right. raspberry jam. And then buy those baked pita chips. Oh. And you'll show up with a dip, and nobody else will have one. Wow. That sounds And delicious. it's like, geez, you just. Now, we put that together, and it was like, well, is that going to taste good? And then the people at the station here were going, wow, that's really good. Wow. You know, another thing, God rest her soul, I'd come home from football. Mm -hmm. My mother and make city chicken. Oh man, that was back in the day. Man. <laughs> they don't make. Chicken okay, anymore. but here's the thing: the city chicken. You you didn't have microwaves back then. Oh. She had a hot plate, and the dish would be sitting on the hot plate. I got to the point where I couldn't have any more city chicken. I was like city chickened out. So the other day I was in the store and I went. I know she's going nuts. Yeah. They had city chicken on sale, and I was like, oh, well, okay. So I bought the city chicken, but I didn't put it on a stick. I put sauerkraut and the city chicken together in a crock pot. Mm. And I put apples in there and onion and butter. Okay. And they watched across the way. And the lady came back and she says, you know what? I can now never make city chicken the way I used to make it because yours was like that. They loved it. Yeah. We've made so many things. We canned peppers in here. That's, who does that anymore? 
Seriously, remember back in the day you were growing up, the, 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 yeah. you know, I hate to say it was just the females, but it was for the most part with the moms. They learned how to jar, how to can. It was, oh, my gosh, well, that great stuff. You know, here's just a little reminder. Go ahead. There's no downtown business association meeting this month. When? I There isn't one. Oh. Maybe they're home canning peppers, but wow. they took a break. Now, in August, August 4th, I should bet they're going to return. Good. But I just wanted to tell you that... Well, where do they meet at? They meet right there on the Columbus Interbelt at the Chamber of Commerce. Okay. August 4th. August 4th is their next meeting. What so time? You didn't tell us what time. They have lunch. All right. That it's lunch, a, some people eat You it. go at 11 nope. o'clock. Okay, They I'm have sorry. pizza there for you and what have you. And it's a great chance, if you're a business owner, to get to know the people at the Chamber there's areas everybody has different areas of expertise nice you know and you can go there yeah. when i see the folks from sporting goods i already told them they're bringing a big nd for your shirt no way <laughs> no way hey can i take your just real quick business? sure ladies gentlemen please get on your computer google youtube and once you get into youtube up the Padula Show, P-A-D-U-L-A, The Padula Show. We have over 35 silly, goofy, stupid skits and parodies. Subscribe, like, comment, and share some of your favorite shows, some of your favorite links with your friends. Uh, and if you are unable to do that, which I wish you could, you could always tune in here, right? NCTV 45. NCTV 45 and catch The Padula Shows, some of our earlier episodes, a lot a lot of the episodes that we filmed are filmed right here in the greatest castle in the world in the <laughs> county of Lawrence. Well, you know, what we do is uh, we take that uh, show and then we kind of find where the good break points are so that our sponsors get some credit because, in, and our sponsors really keep the station going uh, through the donate button. Okay, nice. but let's say that you don't want to donate. Let's say that you want to do something else. You know, you can, there's something everybody has. Everybody has gas and electric in their house, right? Right. So all you have to do is click on the button that says Ambit Energy. Yeah. And put in your zip code, and they will guarantee you a 3% discount on your electric or... Your gas. Nice. Now, here's what the thing is. If you sign up with Ambit Energy, they send a nice donation to us. Oh, that's fair. that's great. You know? Right. So it doesn't cost you anything. Right. Sometimes. You're, you're going to save money. Right. And you can do it probably in under five minutes. Yeah. Wow. That's great for the, for, for the station. And yeah. And, and call me if you're having an issue with it. Call me. I could show you how it works. We could, you could come down the station. We'll do it right here. Yeah. Hey, and, and if there are any, let me throw this by you because, again, it's been a great week working with you. And uh, what a great job, great effort you make on a daily basis, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. But let me throw this out there to some of the kids, young kids out there. If you're interested in any type of editing, uh, writing, filming, just getting some experience behind the scenes for radio or TV, Come down, speak with Angelo. There are some things you could learn that uh, if you really like this stuff, uh, and, and you should because you know technology will be here today, it'll be here tomorrow, it'll be here in 2050, it'll be here in 2100. I mean, as you well know, if you're going for a job, technology is a thing, and if you really, you know, the media is a huge thing. Uh, it's never going to go away, so. Come down. Maybe there's some things that uh, we'll have you do, whether it be for community service, right? Whether uh, there's some arrangements you can make to, for pay, uh, for and it, for experience. We write you up a nice little resume yeah. recommendation. I'm just throwing all those things out there. Go ahead. We have a lot of volunteers and community service people right now. Yeah. And that's how we survive, and people give donations and do things. And I'm grateful to those people. Um, but you never know yeah, when it, anything could happen. Currently, we do not have any 
paid employees, but right. you never know when something can arise. But it's nice because you started with eight dollars, and and now you've been afloat for two years, and and we're gonna boom go bang it out in the future as well. But hey, join us for the ride. If you could give us a couple hours on Monday, come on in. Tuesday, come on in. Wednesday, just do what you gotta do. Come down here, get the great experience of working inside of a studio and learn. You may, you may say, hey, this is something that I really would like to do and pick up some skills. As if you went to Votec to pick up skills as far as carpentry, masonry, because, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, a lot of these people that are going to school for four years, six years, doctorates, masters, a lot of them are unemployed, okay? And, and not only are you unemployed, but now you're down about 100 or 200 grand. Seriously, with, with uh, debt. But give us a shot. How's that? Please you can learn a, a lot of things down here. Yeah. And uh, just, a, just a thought as we go by. Now... This weekend, don't forget to get out to Balloon Quest. We've all, I've said that all week. Woo, man, it's been fantastic. And, you know, it, for those people riding, they'll get a new kind of high. Oh, <laughs> you know, uh, and the people are also, I mentioned this before, I, isn't it the fire department that puts that, that together? That is the fire department, yeah. They do. They do that's a phenomenal job. job. That's, a nice, that's a nice area, too. And think about it. You know, from the beginning of the year when, when we first get out of school or summer begins, and I know it's June 1st, but the, you have Italian Fest. You have Back to the 50s. You had the Fireworks Festival. You have Balloon Quest. And you still have the same Vite as Bazaar and, the, and the, the fair coming up. I mean, for those, ah, oh, geez, I'm so bored. I don't have anything to do. Uh, really? <laughs> you know? No, wait, you, you mentioned St. Vitus, uh, the, the festival. Oh, yeah. Now, you talk about somebody that can make some pasta. Is my man Joey Mico, is he Mico? Is he still? No, no they, I'm sorry. Uh, they have uh, Balisco. Okay, he's I'm sorry. Cooking, I apologize. He's cooking down there. But he did it for years, though. Usually I go on my Great diet stuff. when I go down there. What kind of a diet? It's a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but you know, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just remember from growing up, because my grandmother, Barlett, God rest her soul, I mean, I'm telling you, at least 50 years she put in the St. Vitus, and she would volunteer, uh, and they would pump out some great, great food. They probably still do. I mean, I, oh, it's, I it's gotta go, you know, I'm going to have to go down there. You know what? You get a pepperoni puff. Mm. Then you move on to Kavads and a meatball. You know what? I've done a show with you every day this week. We've talked food every day. I think I've gained eight pounds. <laughs> okay? I gained eight pounds just from talking you, about you it. You know, I mean, hey, <laughs> well, the one thing that we do have down here. Yeah. And I'd venture to say, you know, we're not the biggest TV station in the world. Not yet. But we have the best commissary in the world. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. Well, I, have, I asked you for something today. You didn't have anything. You guys cleaned it out. Well, you know what? When we go through this, and, and Gary has this same issue. Yeah. Gary will go, geez, I thought you did a cook in the castle. I go, I did. But you have to be at the station when we do a right, cook in right, the castle. Because right. if you're not right there at the second, my son will eat your portion. God bless him. And he, I mean, he just flies through, and and you know. But he plays football. This is true. So he needs strength, energy. He needs the food. Well, you know what? It was great. Now you know I'm I'm very Italian. My wife is very Italian. Right. And my kids are Italian. Right. So it was Easter, and I make a variety of things. And my wife came home and she said now there's nobody in my family mm -hmm. my son my daughter my wife myself nobody eats kielbasa except my son really and and my wife said i bought two things of kielbasa and i said why did you buy two things of kielbasa a couple pounds 
She said, because I thought I'd have a better shot at the ham. Oh. <laughs> if I gave your son the kibbasi. Right, right. Wow, <laughs> man. You know, That's she she was thinking. Very, wow. You know, so when you you come to the table with mm -hmm. cooking a castle, you have to be thinking. Yeah, like, because yeah. if, if you snooze, you definitely lose. See, you know, how you mentioned Easter. See, the first thing that comes to my mind, sausage you, pie. Uh, we got you covered, okay, but we I'm do a right little now, bit I different. I love sausage pie. Okay, now you're going to have to talk to Gary. Why, is he going to make it for me? I have moved Gary from the traditional sausage pie to the Cook in the Castle sausage pie. I, When's the last time you made sausage pie on your show? Uh, a while ago? No, Easter. Easter. Like, I love sausage pie. You know what? We do a variation. All right. On you know where Tybee Island is? Yes. South. Off the coast of Georgia. Right. South. And we do a variation on Tybee Island pie. And it has sausage in it. Now, I bet. Right. Gary had his doubts. Gary tried it. Gary said, Oh my God. This is really good. And at the end of Cooking a Castle, yeah. it just so happens, there's a picture of that sausage pie sitting right there with a cup of coffee. Wow. Uh, you know now, what? Well, so what do you do that's so different? You give it a little kick now, right? A little spice. You mince onions. Yeah. You use Worcestershire sauce. You use... Really? Oh, yeah, sausage, of course. Um... Philadelphia cream cheese, cheddar cheese, uh, eggs. I don't like to use a lot of eggs. And you use a regular pie crust. Right. Um, as I'm doing this from memory. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the recipe's right on. See, that's a great thing about our station. You could go back and watch that. Just go there, click on the yeah. uh, Cook in a Castle button, and boom, you're watching. Uh, you know, and and then like you have to let it. You can't eat it hot. Right, right. It'll run all over the place. So then you let it cool. When it gets room temperature, you have a slice of that, mm -hmm. a nice cup of coffee. And do you know what goes with that? What? Tabasco sauce. Wow. I put Tabasco sauce on the top. Yeah. And then, boom! I'm good to go. Wow. Nice hot cup of coffee. Well, one it. of these days, when you're in the mood. You make it all come down, we eat it in front of everybody, and then if they want to come down and grab a piece, you come down and grab a piece. Well, you know what we got to do? We got to work on this, this, this fall, maybe uh, right before Thanksgiving. We'll pick out a charity. And we'll do a special breakfast. We can make it a pizza breakfast or a spaghetti breakfast where people can come down, give to the charity. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just have a, a, a breakfast. Now, you know, one of my specialties that I make, bacon, egg, and cheese on a buttered roll or on a roll. I don't eat eggs. Oh, you, said it was, you said it was for people to come down. Now, I can make you something different. Hey, there, you I know, know that guy you walking by. You know. Hey, there he is. You know, there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, he just got home from football practice. He's going to walk right. You can walk right in front of no, us. People, no, you go can't. Go down and I say, go do your bear crawl. Oh, okay. Can I come in this year? <laughs> He's on the show. He just, okay. I, first of all, Edge, how was football practice? How are you doing? Oh, good. Coach O'Reilly said, uh, uh, okay. go get me a kiwi. I got to get him a coffee. He's not. No, no, no. We're okay, not getting go coffee. behind the yeah, glass. Yeah, go, go behind the glass. <laughs> for you, but Because you do such a job, good job behind the glass or in front of us. So wait a minute. You got a football practice. I told you to tell Coach O'Reilly, who I know very well, to make you the quarterback. You should be the star quarterback. Oh, I forgot to tell him. I'll have to give him a call Sit tonight. down there behind yeah. the desk and get to work. Tell me you want number 12. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, you know, some, just some great things uh, with the food. And uh, I, I do make a mean – and I did this at Union for the seniors one time. I had a senior breakfast. I did it at West Middlesex. I had a senior breakfast. The bacon, egg, and cheese. It varies, though, on a roll or on a bagel. Mwah. I was subbing that day. But, I got did you have one? Yes, it did. There we go. But there they go. took the egg off for me. 
All right, if you would have came down and said, hey, no way. can you do me a favor? How Is much that, time do we have left? I gotta it's, it's over. Like, we it have to be. go. We did a whole week together. We, we, a whole week. Do you believe it? You know what? I know where I'm going after this. To Balloon Quest. To the Balloon Quest. And I hope you go there, too, because it's going to be a great night. And the weather's not, you know what? The weather all week, we've been telling people it's going to be 30% precipitation it'll be okay a little cloudy it'll a little bit okay. but get, get there get your pepperoni pizza sit back watch the fireworks with his wife and just and no just no no enjoy. no uh, his, i'm sorry That's, she might like that <laughs> <She's> <laughs> done. get the heck out of here <laughs> she'll go go eat your pizza over there with jay oh my god <laughs> yeah so why you could do the old mafioso thing and close the trunk on it's okay and drive away into the sunset hey ladies and gentlemen thank you once again Ange. thanks for great, week. great week my thank brother. you went by fast it did too fast you know we're gonna do this again definitely Not definitely enough. and keep watching go nctv 45 we're available anytime on your time and by all means, stop down. Please. And visit in the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great Peace. Day. Enjoy Bye. the balloon quest.